Orlando, Florida. And my telephone number at the diner is 407-422-8655. Come check us out at Emma Soul Food. Gospel Explosion. This is Jimmy Drop D. Williams, WDROPDE. We are now live on WOKB Gospel 1680. Putting it down for you. Know what I say? Don't meet me there, beat me there. Y'all check us out. Breeze the Bree in the house with me, bringing you the best of the best here at WOKB. Y'all stay tuned. We out. It's the Jimmy Williams Gospel Explosion, Tuesdays at 1 p.m. Hey, our food store, 916 South Paramore Avenue, Orlando, Florida, 32805. That's our food store, 407 422 Over 30 years in the same location. Y'all hit them up, you heard?
just for down to Jesus When at last I come face to face with you I might want to sing my song I might want to play my music Lord, I don't know I don't know now and mama gonna be waiting now for me I'll lay my burdens down down by the riverside I won't have to study war no more everything will be alright then yo it'll be amen a plate of food 
I'm out. I would keep you. I would keep you. Every time we get a hungry feeling, it's not always for something natural. It's not. It's not. It's not always for something natural. My people perish because of lack of knowledge. The Bible says, he that hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say to the church, to the body. To the body. The Bible also says that God would not dwell in an unclean place. God dwells inside of us. God can live inside of us as long as we have living water, as long as we are taking in food that lives, amen. And I'm talking about the Word, the Word of God. The Word of God. You was with me one night, Mr. Williams, and I was hungry to do ministry. And God sent a young woman up to me, and we started ministering. I was hungry to do the will of my Father, the one who sent me. Amen. 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 And I, I was hungry, and I felt so good, and, and, and I felt like I was still ready to eat. I felt like I was still ready to eat some more word. Amen. I go to sleep, and I can talk about me because I know me. I can't talk about anyone else. But I can talk about how I, when I get ready to go to sleep, and I set my phone beside my ear when I get ready to go to sleep. But I set my phone beside my ear, and I'm listening to the Word as I go to sleep. When I wake up, the Bible is still playing. So I get it in my sleep, and I get it when I wake up. Amen. So I'm trying to get as much as this Word as possible because I want to be able to help. I want to be able to do what Jesus did. I can't do what Jesus did if I don't have no Word. If I don't know anything, I can't do the will of the one who sent me if I'm not prepared. The Bible declares that we've been created in God's image. Okay, now, what the Bible talks about his image, of course, is not talking about his physical appearance. It's talking about his likeness. Okay, I can't be like him if I don't know no word. If I don't have no word, I can't be like him. When someone says to you, well, that was the child of God right there, it's because you portray the image of God. You are walking in his likeness, his love, his characteristics. You are, holy, you are, you are portraying his, his characteristics. He, it's like you're an image of what God is would be if he was standing in front of you. Because any time I can come to you, and I don't care what kind of day I'm having or what kind of day you're having, and I can come to you and I can speak life to you, big smile will come across your face. You know, I noticed that. I can come to you and speak life, speak this word, you be all right. You be all right. I can come, I, I don't care what I'm going through. I prayed a prayer once. I said, Lord, whatever I'm dealing with, don't allow it to get to the point where I can't do your will. Don't allow my troubles to overtake me that I can't help somebody. Don't allow what I'm dealing with or going through to get to the point where someone comes to me or call me and I can offer them no assistance. No assistance. Because it's not my will. It's my Father's will. It's not my work. It's His work. I'm here to do the will of the one who sent me. Jesus said, to, my me is to do the will of Him that sent me and to finish His work. To finish His work. How many of us today, even in the church, are doing the real will of God? Outreaching is such a key to doing the will of God. Because there are so many that can't make it to the church. That's why the church must go to them. We must take them food. Mr. William, we must take them food. Not just that physical food that's going to satisfy them and then they're going to be hungry again. It's only going to sustain them for a little while. But we give them this everlasting food that can keep them for the rest of their lives. We need to be out on these streets feeding these people, but we got to be careful what we feed them. We always seem to